All right, first of all, guys, I want to start out by saying no, I'm not talking about Kefla anymore. No, I'm not talking about the Ultra Instinct Goku about to drop on Global. None of that, guys. Golden Frieza, LR Bojack, no, 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 no. So before we do get started, if you are new to the channel, make sure you go down below and hit that red subscribe button. Leave a like as well if you do enjoy the content. And without further ado, we can go ahead and get started. So uh, unbeknownst to me, you know, this kind of flew uh, way over my head, I'm not even going to lie, there's been so much hype on both versions of the game, this kind of flew under the radar, um, so I hopped on DBZ Space to look at the schedule, see if there was anything new here that might have, you know, flew under the radar for me in particular, see if there's anything I can record on, nothing looked too new, then I looked over to, uh, I scrolled down a little bit, obviously we got LR Bojack here about to drop on Global, we got Golden Frieza, Kefla, Ultra and Goku, yada, 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 so, then I see this, the 1,000 day, uh, <laughs> the 1,000 day LR Goku has been added to the database. Now I don't really check global schedule that much. He might have already been here, but I know for a fact that these 1,000 day tickets have just been added to the database. I, I know those haven't been here more than I would say a day or two. So obviously the 1,000 day tickets are untranslated yet. If we do the calculations, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do the calculations correctly right here. I'm probably gonna be a few days, maybe a week or two off. Um, but if, if I'm not mistaken, guys, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, the 777 day, uh, celebration was somewhere in August, somewhere in August. So it's been about what, six, six, this month, six ish months or something like that. So I'm going to, you know, round that guesstimated to about 200 days, um, 200 days. So that would bring us to about. I would say at least about day 960 on global. Something like that. I could be wrong, but I would say, you know, about 960 on global. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section below, guys. So the LR Spirit Bomb Goku, the 1000 day celebration, is about five, five, five weeks out, five, six weeks out, something like that. Um, uh, we're about 40 days out at least. Well, I don't know, guys. Like I said, <laughs> that's a rough estimate. I would say at least uh, 40 days out, something like that. I know somebody out there has the exact calculations. But one question I want to pose to all of you guys. How long have you been playing Global? Are you anywhere near this 1,000 day? Are you on the exact date that you should be on um, to be, you know, to call yourself a day one player on Global? I know a lot of the guys, uh, I know Muscle started out on JP, and I think Nano did as well. Um... I'm not too sure about everybody else. I'm not too sure if those guys, you know, had Global on the back burner. They just, you know, posted JP. I'm not too sure about any of that. I know I myself, I started out on Global. I started around the time Full Power Frieza came out, but I, I was not serious about this game at all, guys. I just now got serious about it uh, about a year ago. Um, didn't even think I would start posting content on this. Uh, a lot of you know, I I started out, you know, as Injustice and things like that. I posted a lot of fighting game content. I privated all of those videos, the reactions, everything like that. I privated all of that. But anyways, back to the Goku guys. If we hop over here, um, a little bit about the card first. This is going to be a short video, guys. So a little bit about the card. He is obviously an amazing rainbow unit probably the best rainbow leader in the game you know i'm not gonna do any comparisons in this video but this man is just crazy so 1000 day login bonus thousands of wishes goku all types key plus three in hp attack and defense plus 100 percent via leader skill that's amazing right off the bat that automatically makes him top tier his super attack or super spirit bomb which is his 12 key super and uh super spirit bomb which is which is his 18 to 24 key super now, his uh, 12 key super causes colossal damage to enemies and buffs attack plus, well, buffs all allies attack plus 20% for one turn. Uh, his super spirit bomb, which is his 18 to 24 key super, causes mega colossal damage to enemy allies, to enemies, <laughs> and buffs allies attack and defense plus 25% for one turn. His passive skill is where shit gets wild. The passive skill is where shit gets wild, guys. Attack plus 77% at the start of the turn. And then attack and defense plus 7%. And HP plus 7,777 per key sphere obtained. This man is freaking wild, guys. So let's break let's break that down one more time. First of all, he's giving three key and buffing your whole team by 100% on HP, attack, and defense just via leader skill. Then when we go down to his super attack, he's buffing, depending on if you get his 12 key or 18 key, he's going to buff you by at least 20% on your attack for all of your allies for one turn. Now, if you get his 18 key, mega colossal damage, we don't even care about that right now. 
allies plus uh 25% on attack and defense for one turn and then be a passive skill now this uh doesn't pertain to the rest of the team this is just him uh, he is self-sufficient on this attack plus 77% at the start of turn attack and defense plus 7% and HP plus 7,777 per key sphere obtained. That is not per strength key sphere guys. That is not per rainbow key sphere. That is just any key on the field. So whenever this comes, I, I got, I don't know if anybody's already done this guys, but I have to see a nuke test on this man. I have to see this. I, I have to see it. So I feel like <laughs> This this is crazy, guys. I don't know who out there is, you know, close to that 1,000 day. Um, I'm probably gonna ask around a little bit because I want to see who is. I want to see one of the homies post a video on this man on Global when he comes out. But I don't know if any of the Global homies are close to it. Uh, back to his link skills though. Z fighters, all in the family, experienced fighters, prepared for battle. My boy got that prepared for battle link. Supreme power, the sand lineage, and legendary power. Now, one thing I would also like to see. When he does come out, if one of the homies is able to get this man, I don't know what day login that any of the homies are on. Um, he is a part of the Majin Buu Saga category, so I would just love to see one of the homies do a video on this. This It has to happen. Uh, Warden, are you close to this? I don't know. Slut Muffin, you know, are you close to this? JCV Goku? I don't know, guys. Somebody has to do a video on this man when he comes out. Um, now, his stats aren't the most impressive for an LR when he's 100%. But I think, <laughs> in my opinion, his passive skill and his leader skill make up for all of that. So his stats don't have to be phenomenal. His, his passive skill, definitely. That, that shit is crazy. But anyway, guys, um, if you want to know about his multiplier, his 12-key multiplier is 140%, and his 24-key is 200%. Uh, and that is on top of the, you know, the little boost you get when he is SA20. And I think, yeah, that is uh, an additional 30% as well. So... Just wanted to bring this to you guys' attention. And like I said, it flew completely over my head. I completely forgot about this. Um, like I said, hopefully one of the homies can do a video on this man when he comes out. Um, I'm probably going to ask a few people, you know, where they are. Speedy, are you anywhere close to this? I don't even know. But anyways, that is all I have for this video, guys. If you did enjoy the channel, if you did enjoy the content, make sure you go down below, hit that red subscribe button, guys. Leave a like as well. And without further ado, I will see you all in the next video. Peace.